It has been 10 days since the government began a special month-long drive to rid Bangalore of beggars. More than 400 beggars have reportedly been rounded up so far. And the government says this drive is part of a wider campaign to make Karnataka a beggar-free state. Sneha Abraham has a special report. This was the scene at Chikpet this morning when an elderly woman was being hauled away for begging in a temple courtyard. But public reaction to the spectacle was so strong that the woman had to be released. Other beggars were not so fortunate. Many have been picked up under the anti-begging law. This is the first time that the government is conducting a month-long drive against beggars. Eight vans belonging to the Social Welfare Ministry's Central Relief Committee begin their rounds of the city around 9 in the morning. Six hours later, they bring the beggars they have arrested to the rehab centre on Magdi Road, where they are detained at least for a year. Here they are taught skills like carpentry, weaving, and farming to help them earn a livelihood. They are paid for the work they do and the wages are given to them when they leave. We are looking after the beggars very well. If the public sees any beggars on the road, they can call us. Through this, they should help us get the beggars here. The public should help us by not giving beggars money. But human rights activists say the anti-beggar drive is a farce being conducted only to clean up the city for the IPL and foreign tourists. The government is not looking at stray dogs, does not want to look at men uh, pissing at every corner, garbage being there every day at these places, all your footpaths that you can't really walk, manholes that are open. So. What, how do they assume that they could clean the city? By the time this anti-beggar drive ends on March 21st, the government expects to have around 1,000 beggars rounded up and taught new skills. They then hope that they will be able to find jobs. The authorities are optimistic on the score, but in the absence of reliable data, we can only hope that their optimism is not misplaced. With camera person Anaga Gunjal, this is Sneha Abraham reporting for City 24.